What up, folks? It's Jay Barino. We're playing some Hand of Humanity, a custom campaign for StarCraft II. We're heading into the fifth mission. Let's get right to it. And by let's get right to it, I mean let's sit on a loading screen for a little bit. But I will read you this lovely exposition. By your aid, Hand of Humanity has done few successful strikes on Mindstar bases, and soon our job on Marsara is done, and we are ready to move forward onto other planets. But before that, Hand of Humanity needs great amounts of resources, and you are going to lead a mining operation on Marsara. You're going to establish a base on a sector that contains a lot of natural resources. Mindstar already operates on this sector. So this is going to cause trouble for sure. You can destroy Mindstar forces in this sector and finish mining operation without disruption, or just quickly gather the required amount of resources. In this mission, your technology is improved by the Flamethrower Turret, Firebat, and Marauder. Cool! I like that. Marauder's great. I like Firebats, even though I don't think they're particularly fantastic, but the Flamethrower, the flamethrower Turret, I assume, is just like the Perdition Turret. Defend until the Command Center arrives. Just Defending, alright. When your unit's life are low, collect pickups that restore life. Okay. Does this work for all the units, or just some of them, is my question. I mean, these are all mercenaries, it looks like. Hammer Securities, Max Green, for five and a half minutes of in-game time. Well, let's just, let's lead with Max Green, of course, and the Devil Dogs are going to lose their health pretty quick, I think, as they try to run in. I mean, what are they, don't they have, no, it's only one. I thought they might have two armor, but I guess not. Uh, we want to use that grenade offensively. And not only against five marines, we'll worry about that later. As you can see, the uh, the devil dogs running in, losing a lot of health, so... I guess we want to be using that grenade as offensively as possible, just from the get-go. And uh, once someone gets particularly low, I'll send them over to pick up a pickup. Pick up a pickup, huh? Alright, everything dies very, very fast with the, the grenade, but the thing is, the cooldown is what, like 25 seconds? 30 seconds almost? So we have to be careful, because it seems like these waves are coming relatively quick. I mean, I'm going to try not to lose any of these units, but really, I think as long as Max Green survives for the whole time, we would theoretically be okay. The question is, do they keep sending these waves? I wonder if they'd keep sending these waves uh, even after my command center lands, at which point I wouldn't be capable of building units for some time. I'm not sure, so at least we'll have a command center, so this is kind of the same as, as if we had to build a command center while getting attacked the whole time. Come on, grenade. We're going to need this grenade soon. You get back. And you know what? I won't use a grenade here. Yes, Devil Dogs, get in there. Max Green soaking up some hits. That's his job. And as long as I don't let him die, I can heal him up. Might as well let him tank. He has the most health. And if these things, if these things heal to full, we might as well just let my person with the highest health tank so that way I'm getting the most out of those those uh, health packs. Throw this. Oh, hands four. That wasn't worth it at all. We're gonna have to heal up those uh, those devil dogs pretty soon too. My hammer security's not taking any damage. Oh, here is the straggler, poor guy. Okay, I would love to see a grenade pop up before the next group because I waste. I kind of wasted it. That was worth not. You know, four marines. Eh. Well, they are sending groups of five. That's not horrible. All right, you go ahead and pick up. Pick up a restore full health. What's this gonna happen? Okay, that works only on one unit at a time. So I have to be diligent to only use that when single units are very low. Meanwhile, Max Green, uh, he'll probably be the next person, maybe this uh, devil dog here. Got the grenade up. Here comes the next group. Got him. Kiting him with Max Green. Marauders do outrange Marines, so it might be worth my my time to hit him with the grenade and walk backwards and try to kite them. As I stop, though, the, the surviving Marines will gain ground. I'm doing my best not to lose anything. I may lose a Devil Dog here. Hard to say. Here comes the next group. Again, leading with Max Green. Once the Devil Dog's getting close, though, then they start getting focused down. I'm going to heal you up. We're going to heal Max Green up, and then we have... We still have three more heals. So I feel pretty comfortable, and we have a grenade. So anytime we have a grenade for a wave, I know we won't take a lot. We, I know I can survive a full wave without a grenade, without losing anything, unless these waves end up getting bigger. Throw a grenade there. Cool. This is going just fine. Again, uh, with a grenade, I know that I can survive a wave no problem. Without a grenade, I can survive, but may need to use a health pack, but I have two, three left, so feel confident. We only have a minute left. Grenade coming up in five seconds. And I'm not going to use a grenade this time around. Firebat's taking pretty evenly distributed damage, which is good. And we'll have a grenade up for... There's probably going to be two more waves before the command center lands, at which point I would assume that these, that these waves would stop, but I really can't guarantee that. I just kind of want to rush to getting at least one medic. We'll probably be in real good shape. Come and get me, Mindstar. And... 
throw that, no problem. Let's go ahead and heal this Devil Dog up. And eight seconds, we'll see if we end up having another attack on us by them, but I doubt it. I doubt it, here we go. Okay, there's the command center. The question is, will Mindstar continue to attack me like they have been? Where's that command center? And we have to collect 10,000 resources. So the question is, do I want to just worry about collecting the resources? There's pallets all over the place, which is pretty good. Or do I want to just kill all of Mindstar? I, I don't know. That's tough. It's because this mission would take a lot longer by just killing Mindstar, but it's also the safer option. Okay, they are not they are not continuously attacking me, which is great. Let's go ahead and throw down some depots. And I probably should have only built one in retrospect, but that's okay. We should we should mine enough minerals before these complete that we can queue up more SCVs if necessary. And really, I just again, I really would like to get. I'd really, really like to get uh, just one or two medics. That would be incredibly helpful. Get some APCs. We can put these hammer securities in them. We can also get devil dogs and hammer securities from the mercenary base. Mercenary camp, which means that we're no longer restricted to just um, war pigs, which is fantastic. Cool, and we don't have to build a command center. Granted, we had to wait around for six minutes for a command center, but this is this is not bad. I really wanted to make a small infantry force and push out and take another base as soon as possible. I don't want to get stuck on one base like I have in the past. So we also want to scout around. Once I get, like, two medics, I can take this force of what I have and go and push. Maybe not with the devil dogs. I'm not really... Uh, we'll see. It doesn't matter. Um, we have enough gas to get a... To get a tech lab, but not enough to also build a medic, I don't think. All right, here comes the next attack. Oh, run away. Devil dog. Oh, we lost one. Okay, well, I should have thrown a grenade. I was too I was too hesitant with the grenade. That's okay. I kind of knew the devil dogs would die. I mean, they're fire bats. So, until you can upgrade their armor, they're they're going to they're going to bite it. That's just that's kind of their role, honestly. Uh, I will continue to upgrade to an orbital command even though I'm pretty sure I will never be able to call down mules, but maybe that will be an upgrade that we can get eventually. I'm going to throw that on that tech lab right away so we can grab a medic to heal up our mercenaries, and maybe we can push out real soon. Maybe I can get a mercenary compound real early so that we can start calling down mercenaries. Uh, that might be worth our money. Not a lot of minerals at these early expansions, so you have to be a little cautious with how you... Ooh, Juggernaut plating increases armor of fire bats and marauders by two. We definitely want that. You have to be a little judicious with how you spend your money anyway. Um, so if you want to do mercenaries, you got to kind of commit to mercenaries because your money will be spoken for. But yeah, let's go ahead and throw this down. Just uh, the earlier we can get them, the better. But we also want to make sure we have the supply for them and that we have the uh, the income to, to call them down when necessary. So as long as we got Max Green out here, let's go ahead and get a medic, like I was saying. And we'll definitely want to get stabilizer med packs. As long as we're constantly making SCVs. Okay, throw this, throw this. You guys back out, back out. Okay, really would like a medic now. She's coming out. Let's get those stabilizer med packs. Actually, heal up Max Green first. You just go ahead and gobble up this last uh, this last health pack up down here. Cool. Yep, okay, we can get those other mercenaries. Let's get our orbital command. Was it worth it to get that orbital command now? I'm not really sure. Let's get some more medics, though. We can't. Oh, God, we need the orbital command. Oh, jeez. Well... We need that orbital command so that we can drop down supply call down. Though the conundrum will be, oh no, now I can call down mules. I'm not going to use the supply call down, so I'll just queue up another queue up another supply depot. We want to get bunkers. I do kind of want to okay. scout around to see what's around here. Yep, only supply call down. I don't know what I expected. Uh, let's get two more medics. Just save. And hopefully soon we can call down the rest of our mercenaries. We want to upgrade them as well. So here's our base entrance. Of course. We've got, ooh, there's a little ramp up there, too. I like that. So we can make auto turrets up at the top there. That's cool. I like that quite a bit. All right, we'll get a couple Marines, too. Need some Marines. Keep making SCVs. Get another refinery, and we're going to push out soon with a, with a bio ball. Basically, once all these mercenaries are available, I'm going to use all of them. Throw a grenade. Run away. Got to get that juggernaut plating pretty, pretty soon, too. In fact, I think it's 200 gas, so we're going to be able to get that very, very soon. In fact, that's what I'm going to spend my gas on now. Come on. There we go. And I will get an engineering bay so that we can get all sorts of good upgrades. 
Key making SCVs, we'll use supply call down when we can. And again, we're, it is very similar to how we're starting all the other missions. And you do have to dump a lot of cash into these initial into these initial beginning parts of these missions. Even though we're we're going we're shooting for ten thousand minerals. I mean I do have to get enough money to defend myself and take any expansion. So it may be worth my time to kill Mindstar. Hard to say though, Juggernaut planning is going to help a lot. Plus two armor, that's fantastic. And I'll go ahead and get infantry level, armor level one because we're going to be going fire bats this mission because fire bats are cool. They're weird and they're cool, so I'm going to make them. And then we keep the marines in the back to do some extra damage. Still can't quite call down our mercenaries. Once we get that first round, we're going to be pushing out. Not sure if fire bats are really what I want to be putting in APCs. I might keep them outside the APCs and put marauders and marines inside APCs. Or we just don't make APCs. We do more of a bio ball this mission. This mission, they're introducing fire bats and marauders, so we might as well do a bio ball of both of those things. And I'm going to try my best to not just make those later on. I'm trying to think if we can ex exploit wraiths in some way to make this better, but I don't think so. Oh, geez. They have, uh, that's a lot of marauders that they sent. Look out, Hammer Securities. All right. You look out. And we, we need to get some uh, defensive structures down here very, very soon, so... Uh, I will get a... I'll get bunkers on the low ground, turrets on the high ground, I think is what, what needs to happen. So keep making, I would say, marines, and... We can call these guys down. Let's make a bunker here. You come up to the top of this ramp, and you're going to make auto turrets. H. And what are those flame turrets? They look like perdition turrets. Okay, they won't be able to see the units on t up on these uh, on this hill, so I think those uh, those turrets are going to be fantastic. We'll make bunkers over here, and again, this is just to delay them as they come through these canyons. And uh, I need more barracks, so I'm going to get two more barracks. So this is just uh, we're dumping a, m a monetary investment right now in order to push out later. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We have way more infantry armor. And I would love to get a second engineering bay for all sorts of upgrades. So, And we're going to need... We're going to need another supply depot. The enemy attacks do come pretty pretty hard. So get up there, Max Green. We might lose this bunker. I'm pretty certain we're going to lose the bunker. Keep it up, SCV. Oh, so close. Oh, man. Yeah, that juggernaut plating is already paying off. You can just tell. You can tell how, how much more... How much they can how many more hits they can take it's incredible all right we want to keep making these turrets up here making the flame turrets up top actually might be i mean i assume the flame turrets can shoot down no we're gonna make those on the ground and we're gonna put the uh, the auto turrets up here so uh load up normal marines in these bunkers and we will get high sec auto tracking and then i'll get infantry level one and let's get a reactor and a tech lab. And being able to being able to steal tech reactors will be pretty sweet as well. Let's grab one of those. Wait, does high sec auto tracking affect? It does not affect the the fire turrets. That would be real good if it could, but it cannot, unfortunately. And we just want to fit as many of these chain gun turrets up top as possible. Call down supply. We don't want to get supply blocked. And we're gonna be pushing out here soon. And I want to push out and have a hefty army before we run out of minerals here and not have to, like, be scavenging for another base before it's too late. Call down Hammer Securities. Did I never call down Hammer Securities before? Okay, hop on in here. Max Green threw that fatty grenade. Oh, my God, it's so good. The grenade is still one of the best abilities. It's so good. Okay, chain gun up here. And yeah, we're just going to layer this all in chain gun turrets. We'll be in real good shape, so. Keep SCVs around here. Let's get more Marines, Marauders, and uh, Medics. Not enough minerals. Okay, we're going to hotkey all this, and we'll be ready to, to move out very, very soon. I'd like to call down Hammer Securities as well once this is done, but currently that's not an option. We'll get Structure Armor, and of course you're stuck. So I guess we're just going to leave you up here. It's about Marines, hop in. More Marines. Can, you can't, like, deconstruct structures. That would be real cool, but you cannot do that, so my, my SCV is sadly just stuck here. Unless I destroyed one of these turrets, which it's not worth it. Also, they can't get up these ramps. They have no means of seeing these turrets, so 
We're just going to make a bunch of them, and then with high sec auto tracking, they should be able to shoot. They should have pretty darn good range. Okay, call down hammer securities, and more war pigs. And with enough medics, I'd say we're probably in real good shape, so we'll make more medics. Just a few more marines. Oh yeah, okay. The, the, tur the auto turrets on the high ground, that is some awesome shit right there. Okay, Marine. Not, no, I want to bring the war pigs with me when we attack. And... Even more turrets. Okay, so heal this shit up. We're going to throw down a... Well, it's not a perdition turret. It's, it's a flame turret, which we put, I guess, right there. And then I'm going to pull another SCV off. What's going on? Rear, Down here to make a flame turret, and that should be most of the the, def the defense that we need, I think. I'll build one right here. Uh, Just build as many, ready. and this guy's gonna get stuck back here as well. I might make a. Well, I don't have medevacs. I have no way of getting those SCVs unless I lifted a command center and picked them up. Which okay. honestly, Complete. I could preemptively make a command center for my next base, and that's what I'm gonna do. That way, I can float over and pick those SCVs up because they're a waste of supply sitting back there. Okay, well, with future money, I could get more units, or I can just keep beefing up my my units, my existing units, with uh, upgrades. Good. Tough decision. Not going to get more Devil Dogs right now. Uh, yeah, let's let's do uh, upgrades. Let's take what we've got, go and let's go and see if we can find another... Go find another base to take. Oh, yeah. And they ignore armor, too. I realize these, uh, these flame turrets are not perdition turrets because they do not... They do not go back into the ground, which is interesting. Don't leave me hanging. Okay, so let's go sure. pick up some mineral pallets. Let's go and kill Believe some Mine Star bases, and round, hopefully get another base ourselves. A kill a Mine Star base and take our own base. That's the key. All right, here's a base over here, and some mineral pickups. So I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna wipe the whole map unless it becomes very, very easy to. Like the Mine Star attacks kind of drop off. Then I will go ahead and start. Uh, Why not? I'll go ahead and, and uh, kill all the bases. Like if if I can take all the pressure off myself, it's just if I'm if I'm hemorrhaging money by having to defend myself, then it's not worth constantly trying to build more units to push out offensively when I could just spend way less money be defensive on two three bases and get ten thousand minerals fairly quick. So you are gonna lift off, buddy. You SCV, come on over here, and you're gonna pick up these two SCVs. And we're going to take my other units, we're going to check, just pick up these mineral pallets that are kind of sitting around our base. There's enough mineral pallets on the map, it looks like maybe 2,000 total. So that's that's something that we can kind of rely on. It really depends on what's in Mindstar bases, what they, how much stuff they have. Man, that juggernaut plating being an option is just so good. I got to be careful because I could get in the bad habit of just going mass infantry every map and just getting that juggernaut plating and just wiping the map pretty easily. Okay, load these guys up. And yeah, with the with the firepower up here, with the marines in the bunker, the flamethrower turret with plus two armor, with three total armor, plus the chain gun turrets up top supporting it. I mean, <laughs> that's fantastic. My question is, by taking these bases, will they start attacking over here instead? So let's call down those, uh, those devil dogs. We will get war pigs here in one second. We'll get plus three, and we will get... Medics, Marauders, Marines. Upgrade complete. Probably more Medics is going to be our, our big hold up here. So we've got stockpiled money. I'm going to get my, my third tier of upgrades. And then uh, I'm just going to take this other base and transfer my SCVs, build some bunkers, build some turrets. Let's go see if we can push out and, and grab some more of these, uh, these mineral pickups. And uh, really it just depends on where they attack. So if they attack my second base... I know I need to fortify it a lot and then just play defensively. I could fortify both of these bases and then easily take them. So we unload this, we make a planetary fortress. Really just making a planetary fortress at both of these bases with chain gun turrets behind them would theoretically be more than enough to defend them. Because if they're just sending infantry, I don't really need to do anything else. Okay, so... Oh, this is fantastic. They're, they, they, they're so confused because they're getting attacked from the high ground. I feel like this is slightly exploitable, but at the same time, this map is supposed to be played defensively, so I can uh, just 
This is, I mean, Go you're supposed ahead. to exploit that high ground. Why would he put a ramp there unless gotcha. you were meant to Upgrade. slightly exploit Complete. it, which is fantastic. Let's make more SCVs and make sure that we are totally saturated. I'm starting a second command center, and then I will build defense eventually. Yeah, you know what? We can take my standing forces and kind of push out. As long as we have an orbital command, we should be able to get home in time to make sure that we can defend ourselves. And again, the real question is, where will Mindstar attack us from? I see a Mindstar base down here. Maybe we can destroy that and take pressure off of our upcoming base. Alright, we're going to make supply depots here. We're going to move SCVs over in this direction. Don't leave me hanging. I should have stopped and repaired that guy. Seems like there's definitely Mindstar bases over here. And let's call down our last group of mercenaries. Lift this off, land it, and then we'll make it a planetary fortress. We'll make more SCVs. This is looking good. It's pretty much fully saturated. We'll make SCVs from here and, uh, and send them down to my new base. So you guys start mining. Oh god, I thought that was Wraiths for a second. I thought I saw units up here. So the the thing about the the thing about the attacks in general on this campaign, I'd say, is that they're pretty much the same. They just grow in number. They don't grow in diversity. So the fact that we haven't gotten hit by Wraiths, I assume we probably won't get hit by Wraiths later. At least that's what it's been like so far. I am. Uh, Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look at this devil dog just taking the heat. He's got five armor. That's as much armor as an upgraded Ultralisk, I will have you know. That's an Ultralisk with chitinous plating. They have less hit points, but that is the same amount of armor. They have the same amount of beef. That is crazy. Max Green is in this group. I should be a little cautious. Leaving him, leaving him at home is always an okay option. Finding where these uh, Mindstar units are coming from would probably be worth my while. We'll make that into a planetary fortress. You transfer down. We're about 30% to our target. <clears throat> so if we just walk around the map and we pick up all the pickups, I'd say we are probably in just fine shape. Tech reactors I could steal, but these are way out of the way. Way out of the way, so I don't think it's worth it. I see a Mindstar base here. That's another uh, mineral base that we could take. So the fact that we have so many mercenaries really makes this a cost-effective group. So I have a smaller number of units that's able to really wipe across this map. I only have 100 supply as opposed to maxing myself Base out. Is under attack. I have really, really effective defense. And I'm, I'm wiping out Mindstar bases, so I could come down and take this. I don't feel that comfortable doing it's that until I find out exactly existed. where Mindstar can attack me from. There's no... actually, there's no Why other way not? for them to come through here. They've already started rebuilding this. Okay. Murder her. Murder her. There we go. Pick up the mineral pallet. And let's go and wipe out this middle section next. Or maybe we want to go up top and take that. It is very tempting to take another base, but I don't think I have to. If I mine out this base, and I mine out this base, so there's what, three, four... So there's about probably ten to 11,000 minerals total at each of these locations. If I'm not spending extra cash, and I haven't spent any money since I've pushed out... Other than supply depots and SCVs, then I'm in real good shape. They're they're reinforcing from this base, so we're gonna push in here. We're gonna stop, move in. Juggernaut plating, so 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 good. My question is, Hammer Securities have six. Hammer Sec. Oh, okay, uh, it's because I got plus three. Six armor. Six armor on these uh, on these Devil Dogs. That is absurd. Look at how much damage he was tanking. Look at how many units there were just just pounding away on him. I mean. That makes it sound horrible, but, you know, they're just pounding away. All right, come on, move on up. Kill these medics. And, you know what? Kill these sandbags. They bother me. I feel like I have to leave units in their old base to stop them from sending units over there, especially if I want to take those bases. All right, another, another tech lab there. So, with my remaining, with my remaining time, I might as well just go ahead and... Uh, Try to wipe as much of Mindstar as possible without having to build too much more stuff. Wipe out their, their SCVs. They have another base down here. Cool. This is uh, no problem. Again, they're going to be reinforcing to these locations from their other bases, though, which is slightly annoying. As you can see, I see I see Marines running by. Is there a, uh, a barracks down here? I don't know what's down here. Oh, there is a there is a shortcut through here. How did I miss that? That seemed like it would have been obvious. 
I bet they rebuilt that command center over there. Let's go check that out real quick because apparently there's a very quick way through. How much of this have they rebuilt? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Well, wipe this out quickly. And I guess I need to leave units here to stop them from rebuilding. You know what I can do is actually send some SCVs down just to make chain gun turrets just sort of around to stop them from rebuilding too much. Never mind. He can't. The, the SCV can't get through because they've rebuilt all the defenses too. It's a little. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. It's a little frustrating. You can't make progress unless you, unless you very heavily build in those areas. Well, not really heavily, but you you make an investment to stop them from doing that, which is, it's a little annoying. I mean, I think, I think it's it's not. You can't really argue that it's slightly annoying. All right. Nope. Nope. Stop that question is, where's their other bases that they're going to send SCVs? I'm already at 8,600. I'm almost done with this. Collect all mineral pallets. Um, though what I've learned was collecting, doing the bonus objectives is not really that important. Um, it just helps you finish the mission a little faster, but it doesn't contribute to some sort of long-term goal, from what I can tell. Alright, they have units coming from up there. Just, I, I almost, I mean, I tried to throw a grenade there. I must have hit the wrong button and it deselected everything. I'm sure that they've rebuilt this. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yes, they did. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Well, we can just kind of camp out on this little bridge and stop them from reinforcing too much, and we can stop them from rebuilding all of this. All right, never mind. We got 10,000 resources. That was it. Cool. So securing those two side bases was very, very important. And if you're aggressive, you're stopping their attacks from coming in too fast and furious on your, on your home base. Also, it said that we were done with Marsara with that last mission, so it's really exciting to see that we're going to be moving to a, a new tile set after five missions of Desert Wasteland. I really do like the terrain, but after five missions, it's I mean, it's the same. But again, I'm, I'm not saying that it's a bad, it's bad terraining, but it is slightly repetitive, so it's a very, very pretty map so far, so I'm excited to see what he does with wherever we're going next. It looks like Haven. Alrighty, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.